Hello everyone and welcome back to Jack Scraps. Thanks for joining me today. We will be doing a digital layout and I'll be using the latest release by Dunia Designs called Everyday Project and it is a birthday collection which is available at the digital press during their penny saver month of February. Before we get started, I did want to mention several ways that you can use a template, and that would be our number one reason is digitally. You can use it in software such as Adobe Photoshop, Elements, Canva, and you may have some others that you're familiar with. A great way to create a layout in half the time that probably would normally take us. You can also use the template as a sketch. That's why I have it here in grayscale on the screen. So that's how sketches normally come in black and white or grayscale. And you could take this idea and use it as number four, inspiration, and use that as your sketch and then recreate it with your physical product. Another way is to use it as a quick page. You could print out the template the way it is, and then add your photo to the photo block. Now, if there is an element that's over the photo block that you want to include, you could use your X-Acto knife and cut around that image and then slip your photo underneath that and put that image right back on top. And you will have your quick page. All you would have to do is add your journaling and a title and your layout is done. But let me show you how I transform this template into my layout. The first thing that I did was to add my photo. Uh, this collection came out when my son just had his birthday, so it was a perfect time to create a birthday themed layout. So I added his photo here and then I started to add different decorative papers to each of the layers within the template. And what I'm doing there is creating clipping mask and I'm attaching the decorative paper to the element that's already in the layout. It probably takes me about an hour to create a layout because I really go in it with not too much thought as I just choose a photo. I Maybe I select a template and then I kind of go from there. You'll see as I go throughout this that I am trying several different things on and off. I try to match the colors in the photo with the collection. However, this time um, the photo had or darker colors than the collection. So I had to kind of finesse it a little bit to get it to be what I thought was a, a fairly good match for the layout. I'm adding a couple words through the layout as well. I like having a title and then some accent words on my layouts. I just think it adds interest and continues again to tell the story. On most of my elements that I add, as you've seen here with the happy birthday, I do add a drop shadow to them uh, to give them dimension. And I initially started the template by using everything that was in the template. And then I start to uh, delete out elements that I'm not going to be using. At this point, I kind of realized that the collection is very youthful and playful. And, um, you know, this is my son's older. So I tried to change out some of the decorative papers that I previously had in there to uh, make it a little bit more uh, masculine, if you will, and um, I'm sure he won't mind. <laughs> so that's why you see me changing some of the elements or some of the papers. So normally I use most of the elements that are in the collection by Dunia when I'm working on her layouts. Uh, but in this uh, collection, I noticed it had some really dark splatters, as you've seen, I just added to the right top hand corner. And so I wanted to keep those because I really like them. And um, those combined with the sprinkles that she had with the stars and the red and the yellow um, kind of gives it more of an adult feel and that's kind of what I was going for. For my journaling I added and then I was trying to find a great location for it and so 
I finally found one. I thought, yeah, I need to change the direction of it to go alongside the photo. So to get it to fit, I kind of had to move out that paper from underneath the photo. I added it there. And then later on, I actually end up moving some of that, the whole layering piece over. But I, I clipped that part out so you don't have to see that. But you'll see here it's more centered a little bit on the side. And I have more room for my journaling. So throughout creating this, I kind of um, was trying to figure out my title and it finally dawned on me to use the alpha that came with this collection and it was perfect because it had some little flags in there and I could make it say let's and then she had already had the word art celebrate. So I added that and then we have let's celebrate and I just absolutely loved how that worked out. So here what I'm doing, I have this one little piece that is... It was orange and I've changed my colors um, up at the top and I, the last layer is orange. So I didn't want to have orange and orange, but I really liked having the last layer orange. I did try different colors and it didn't work out well. And so I finally figured it out by switching out the uh, striped colors into that space. And I love how this turned out. So that's my layout for today. I hope you have enjoyed this uh, kind of a quick tutorial um, walkthrough. And if you would like me to do my next layout in a particular size or in Canva, let me know and I will do that. This template was also a freebie in a blog. And so I have that link for you in the comments down below. All right, everyone, I'll see you next time.